What's up guys, it's Hanif here, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the power of masking, how you need to learn about masking, and how you can implement it in your um, editing or color grading process. What's up guys, it's Hanif here. Before we continue with this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. For more content like this, turn on my post notifications if you want more content. Of course, you want more content here. So um, let's get on with this. And before I continue, let us know that if for anybody that is familiar with Photoshop environment, this video is for anybody that is familiar with the Photoshop environment or anybody that is new. It's for every, anyone that wants to like master the power of masking and all and learn more about Photoshop. First thing I'm going to be doing to this image is um, Ctrl G. I'm going to be using different adjustments, show you guys how masking works in Photoshop. I'm just going to copy this image first. Okay, after I do that, um, I've used masking in my previous videos. Um, the videos where I talk about sharpening your image in Photoshop, how to sharpen your image in Photoshop. I masked, I used masking in that, I used layer masking that so this video again to understand how mask works. Masking is um, basically the easiest way to define masking is basically editing a particular portion of your image, like only a particular part of your image. Maybe you have added an adjustment and you just only want to affect a particular part. Let me show you guys an example. Um, let's say um, I use my selective color here, switch to my green. Yeah. Okay, let me just do this so just me. See, I've changed the color of my greens. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I use mask, and maybe I only want the adjustments in the greens to affect the greens in the background. So what I'm going to do is um, mask, use mask to only make the adjustments visible in the background and not in our head wrap. First, thing I'm going to do is add this in the group and then um, add a mask what I'm going to do is add a mask as you can see the background here is white this, the, what you have to do is use black use a black brush black hides and white reveals you just need to get that fact black hides and white reveals let me change my brush and then um, yeah let me show you guys what's going on here. You can see the color is changing to the original green. It was clashing. So now the adjustment it has only affected the greens in the background instead of the greens on our head wrap. Why? Because I only selected because I brushed over a head wrap. This is where I want to make my specific selection on a head wrap. So yeah, that's why I create the mask just so that the um only the greens in the background will be affected and brush the head wrap out so it won't be affected as well. For you to for you guys to understand masking more, I'm going to make more adjustments so you guys can understand how masking works. So yeah, I'm just going to use my channel mixer. You can see maybe you just want to have a little bit of blue in the background or something. Uh, I'm going to just do some adjustments here. Okay, I know this doesn't look very good, but just for the example. First thing I'm going to do is add this to a group, you know, so it looks organized and all. Then create my mask again. Remember black hides and white reveals. If I do white all over it again, like let's see white brings back What's there already? Let's say it's like an eraser now. Black is a eraser. White is like your pencil, drawing everything back. So basically, like that's like how I can put it right now. So if I'm so now, you can see that the adjustment I just made affected our skin, and I don't want that because our skin tone now looks weird. What I'll have to do is use the black brush after masking to create a layer mask. You click this after masking. Use a black brush and brush over where you don't want the adjustment to affect 
it's as easy as that masking is as easy as that just brush over where you don't want the adjustment to affect it's as simple as that you can use this in many ways I use it in my sharpening video where I told you guys about selective how I sharpen my image or maybe want to sell a sharpen a particular part of your image so go watch that video slowly when you start using it more you get the hang of it and how masking works and there are many different ways which can use layer mask in photoshop so let me just reduce the opacity it's worth too much I see that they just made the background a bit cooler than it is already now these adjustments i made up are actually pointless in this image it's obviously for example and another trick i'll show you guys is if we see the thumbnail of this video is how i put the text the text in the background of the image i'm just going to show you guys how to do that real quick it's like a bonus for this tutorial yeah? i'm just going to delete these layers create a new one um, use the text and just let me just type something random like um, masking. Yeah, change the font size. I don't know, size is not big enough. Okay, the font size you can see like it just is for some kind of minimalistic design. Maybe just wants to want to lose uh, put your text behind your subject and image i'm going to use i'm going to move the text layer to the background of the image first what i'm going to do next is select the subject and select the subject yeah and that real quick Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys um, for more content like this. I'm just reminding you guys mid video as I'm doing this. And I think I might, I might just speed this up a bit here. Yeah? Okay, I've selected the subject. Um, I, I didn't do the best selection here. I just did this for the example. I selected the subject here, and in case you're curious, I use a quick selection to to make the selection here. So next thing I want to do now to um make the text showing the background is to right click, just select um select unmask. If you're using older versions of Photoshop, it just tell you refine edge. Just you select a mask, and um, what you want to do is um, I'll peel to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. Boom! As you can see, the text is in the background. You can adjust the text how you want, and then yeah, it just gives it that cool look. Maybe you just want to do a cover, a simple cover or something. It's just a great way to just create some cool designs and at the same way it's a, a great way to um, add adjustments to specific parts of your image maybe you want to um, like I said like I did it earlier maybe you just want to adjust the greens in the image or maybe you just want to I don't, I don't know whatever I want to do in Photoshop I want to be specific with it masking is the way to go so thank you guys for going through the, um for staying throughout this video if you like this video make sure you subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you guys next week bye